Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sharif here, welcome to the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I got this one, uh, I was given that one actually, in a vape show, the Zonder U by Geek Vape. What a lovely piece of kit really, <laughs> it's such a tiny thing but it packs a lot of punch in there. Uh, very simple to use, it's an auto only device, you got an LED there just for the battery and when it's fully charged you know that goes off. Um, uh, type C charging um, obviously I cannot show you a box because I was given that one just um, as it is like that you got two air flows in here and um, you got the U pods which they fit you know other ones as well the Weenex U there's another U in there there's quite, quite a few ones so they are interchangeables and uh, also uh, uh, they come in 1.1 and 0.7 now this particular kit comes with the 0.7 but you can get the 1.1 as well which i do have one here and we'll try you know when we finish the close-up uh, this is the red one i mean it's a lovely you know sort of bright one it's plastic is extremely light now this is the uh so sur very surprising thing actually to me is its lightness given that it has 1000 milliamp hour worth of a battery now that is uh, there is something there's no button this is just a logo in here you got the zonder and you got the geek vape there as well you know just written it's all plastic but it's a very very nice type of plastic so going to the pod uh, there's the pod there is there's no magnets or anything it's just a click one and you get you can see there it's uh, 0 0.7 uh, the for that one 16 to 19 watts incidentally the battery fires up to 20 watts so when you put the 1.1 it will uh, fire accordingly uh, there is the 1.1 there and that fires from 9 to 12 so the chip will read and will give you the uh, right wattage for it the pod fits you know very well in there and the filling is um, usual stuff really uh, very nice I and mean, there's a bit of rubber there that you can pick and then it opens and you can see there's a bit of a droplet there and uh, you know for the uh, liquid to go in and air to come out without any problem um, I haven't experienced any leakage or even if it's uh, sitting there for um, you know for a while and the connection is very very good and you put it in there and um, away you go so th there isn't really much to say about it but um, I'll show you something I mean there's two um, air flows in there as far as I'm concerned um, it was a bit airy on both of them 0 0.7 and 1.1 so what I've done is I don't know whether the camera will show it there you go there I put a piece of sellotape in there to block one of those air holes and it made it just right for me so um, you can do it with one hole you can do it with, with both holes we'll try it when uh, after the close-up um, as well but um, you know apart from that it works very very well and it's very well worth it and um, relatively cheap really for uh, you know a, a lovely pod mod like this one as a size comparison I mean you can see there's um, the, the, it's a bit shorter than the rest of them uh, this is the Hell Vape EIR Joytech EVU C2 and the uh, Caliber X um, close batteries none of them are uh, uh, as you know on a thousand milliamp hour of that shape uh, this is 800 that's 800 this is 850 i believe or 890 something like that but um, you know this is just a size um, comparison between them this is the, the smallest really even thickness wise they might be the same um for um, you know all of them but uh, nevertheless it is a very very good piece of kit I, I really i was very surprised with that one and it's relatively cheap as well for, especially for uh, people that want to switch and they want to give it a go uh, or even get away from the disposables uh, so that is a perfect one uh, for them so let's go on vapony and tell you a bit more about it Perfect amount of uh, vapor, <laughs> as you can see, throat heat is very good, always dependent on the nicotine content that you have in the uh, pod itself. Uh, sensor stays with you all the time, this is a 0 0.7, it's supposedly to be a bit more um, airy. But as you've seen, you know, I put the, uh, that piece of sellotape in there. Uh, as you can see, and it done the trick with me. Now let's block the other one as well and see what's it like. As you can see, it's, it's very, very tight when you block both of them, but it's a personal preference and um, you don't have to fiddle around very much. There is a piece of sellotape and you put it there. I've had it there for ages, really. It didn't make anything, but it, it did work uh, with me very well. Uh, so that's a 0 0.7. Let's try the 1.1 and see, well, just as a matter of interest. 
believe it or not, when you put the 1.1, it becomes a, bit, a little bit airy, even though with the uh, with one hole blocked. Yeah, but it's a, it's a strange thing, but um, nevertheless you can work it. Obviously, the um, vapor will get less with the uh, with the 1.1. So if you don't like too much vapor, but uh, the heat also is um, you know is a little bit less on the, that one. And it works, it works quite well. I really don't have anything against it. Uh, who is it for? Given it's a thousand milliamp hour worth of a battery, on an MTL basis, certainly a day, if not more. Uh, the size is such a, uh, a lovely size and it's so, so light uh, as well. And so it's, it's perfect for someone that wants to switch uh, from smoking to vaping. That is definitely one, one to be considered, really, because there's nothing in it. It's an auto, there's no buttons or anything like that. And so it works, you know, straight out of the box, really put some uh, uh, liquid in there. And, um, you know, off you go. And incidentally, all the pods are two mil, uh, the U pods, they're all uh, two mils. So, uh, and, and it works, and it's the cheapest of the lot of the um, U um, stuff, as far as I can remember. So, and also for people that are using those disposables, I mean, what a waste of money as far as I'm concerned, to be honest. What happens if I buy one and I don't like the flavor? I'm stuffed. So, uh, but with this one, you can always, um, okay, it's a bit of waste. Maybe if you buy a small bottle and you don't like the flavor, you can always empty the pot and put you know, another flavor in there or finish that one and put another one in there. The pods do last, you know, quite a bit, but given because it works on very low wattage, and the battery, you know, is quite, um, you know, very, very capable. So um, the uh, the pods do last, you know, um, a lot longer than, um, I suppose, usual ones. Um, it's, it's a mesh uh, a pod that is, uh, or mesh coil that is inside there. So it gives a very, very good flavor. You know, really, I cannot fault it, um, I have to say. And I certainly recommend it, especially, you know, if you're switching from those uh, disposables. Um, it works out a lot more economical, uh, to be honest. And for somebody that is looking to switch from smoking to uh, um, uh, vaping, you need something that is reliable, something that does a job, something that mimics, uh, mimics a cigarette uh, properly. Uh, because you can buy some other ones, you know, I don't think we, we give you enough power, I don't give you enough throat heat. Um, I personally uh, use going to uh, liquids uh, free base all the time. You can use um, nicotine salt, all the youngsters um, and um, up to middle age really, they use, um, they love the nick salt. So this one will work with both. So um, yeah, I'm, I certainly recommend it and I don't have any, anything against it. So, um, but if I forgot something or if you want to ask something else, uh, please leave them in the comments uh, down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I quickly can. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.